cities have uh, their mayors and we have Hare Khan obviously of which I'm a uh, founding member of the fan club not um, but we also have London boroughs so a lot of the winches that that we may have as London travellers um, that we aim at TFL Transport for London, so headed up by Salik Khan. Um, so, whereas our whinge about the ultra low emission zone expansion, etc., etc., that's a TFL uh, Mayor of London decision. Um, uh, and I would quite happily argue, till I'm blue in the face or everybody is bled, that it's a fundraising mission for TFL that's losing money hand over fist. Uh, a lot of that is changing work cultures etc etc a lot of um, downturn from covid lockdowns where um, uh, obviously people were traveling considerably less it's a lockdown um, and a lot more hybrid working working from home etc etc so there you know there are external factors uh, but also in my humble opinion uh, some absolutely chronic mismanagement means that tfl loses money hand over fist and manages to provide a mediocre solution in return. Now that sounds really quite harsh, and it, and it is. Um, and the reason why I say it's a mediocre solution is it is absolutely brilliant if you happen to be in central London. Um, uh, for those outside of central London, you say about you know a bus every three or four minutes or a train every three or four minutes, you just fall over. Um, but that's what you get. Um, the entire system is based on a hub and spoke, um, so the hub being central London, the spokes being out to greater London and beyond. Um, it's great if you happen to be going from spoke to hub. Um, um, yeah, it's great if you're going into London, it's horrendous if you're trying to get around London, i.e. trying to go clockwise, anti-clockwise, etc, etc. Um, 
back on the boroughs london has i think eight boroughs i could be wrong um but you know they are all run by mini fiefdoms um and regrettably they can have different rules now i would have thought that part of a whole mayoral piece would be that you set those rules so there is some commonality consistency and everything else obviously fucking not um and one of the ones that affects me uh, and is therefore important to me is bus lanes now you join me on this commute on the route that i routinely take um, uh, i do vary my route uh, that's for interest as much as anything else um, i have my uh, google maps running generally uh, when i'm traveling from one place to another um, not to tell me where to go I know where to go but it's really to keep an eye on traffic or accidents or incidents um, now for any non bikers that are watching this and I'll be fucking amazed if there's any slash many um, but you know bikes are really good at cutting through traffic don't get me wrong that's why a lot of people use them it's certainly why I use mine just make that up mate um, bikes are brilliant at cutting through traffic but it doesn't mean we're not affected by traffic Oh, for fuck's sake, pick a fucking load of indicators. Ah. Indicators are broken on that. I might have to bleep that out. Um, yeah, so you're not immune to traffic on a motorbike at all. Um, uh, don't get me wrong, it helps. It's a damn sight easier to filter in a, on a motorbike than it is in a, in a car. Try it, it'll be fun. Um, don't tell me, don't tell anyone I told you. Um, yeah, you can't do this in a car. Um, but it does mean the traffic does affect, so I do keep an eye on what the traffic light's going to be, uh, what the traffic is going to be like on the route. Uh, thank you. It would be rude of me not to take advantage of that, wouldn't it? Now you've done it. Um, yeah, it does, uh, it does affect you. So, so what, what are you whinging about? Well, I don't know if you caught that sign there. I'll see if I can find another one. This route that I'm taking, i.e. my normal route, is um, a red route. So by red route, it effectively stops anyone from stopping on it at any time. So it is a do not stop on this route route, if you like. Um, now I don't know who control, I don't know if this is owned, the routes, the red routes are therefore come under London or come under TFL or whatever, but it does mean the difference between here and other routes is that motorbikes can use bus lanes. Um, and at some point I'll see if I can either find the find the sign on route or um, or, or zone in on one as I ride past. But the issue is the signs. So. This is 07.40 on a Monday morning. Uh, traffic is heavy, not that heavy, to be brutally honest, for, for, for uh, this location this time of day. But, you know, I, you wouldn't call it light traffic. Anyway, let's put it that way. Um, I am a... Uh, I am a uh, vulnerable world user. I'm not going to whinge about that. I do it through choice, but I am a vulnerable world user. So what? Well, I really have to fucking concentrate um, about not getting killed. Part of that concentration, and this is where I think all bikers will get it. Uh, part of that concentration is being aware of everything vehicles are doing around you. I mean, I was tempting fate. Uh, with my good missus uh, oh yesterday Sunday Sunday yeah when I was putting up a shed um, uh, we were talking about a friend of ours who had recently had a motorcycle accident uh, fortunately not a bad one um, but it'd been knocked off bike was damaged but probably let's face it now he's probably written off but you know he's but He's all right, he got out of it uh, quite well. Um, um, 
my wife doesn't ask about bikes with me and doesn't ask about journeys and things like that because she just, just I think it scares her to know more than anything else. She will never go on a bike with me. Um, I said, do you know what? Actually, come to think of it, it's been as long as I can remember that I've had a legitimate near miss. She's like, oh, bloody hell. And I said, well, you know, without trying to blow smoke up my ass, I think it's because I've got a better rider. So that earlier bit where I swore at the van, um, I could see him doing weird things and he didn't look comfortable. And if you notice, if you want to skip back to it, you'll notice he was in the wrong lane on the roundabout and then cut across to the left. So my reaction now as a slightly more seasoned rider, shall I say, um, but also fundamentally not quite so much of a young angry man as I have been in the past. I just hum back and let him make his mistake. Um, and then he made another one, which annoyed me. Um, but, you know, it's, a, it's all about awareness. Um, there was a sign there that was red route, no stopping, etc, etc. But who's honking at who? It's not at me. So it's, you have to stay incredibly fucking aware. Now that's quite tiring, for one. But for two, your awareness is really, really hinged on things that can hurt you. That's human nature. Um, so what? I'm really concentrated on cars. Um, sorry, I'll rephrase that. I'm concentrating on other motor vehicles slash vehicles, i.e. push bikes as well, because they're fucking dangerous. Um, but they're less likely to cause me direct damage, but more likely to make me either damage myself or hit somebody else. Um, sorry, just concentrating. <coughs> yeah, so. I'm concentrating on roads, is what I'm trying to get to. I'm concentrating on vehicles, I'm concentrating on um, which way wheels are pointing. I'm fucking ignoring what indicators are doing because um, most people don't seem to use them. Yeah, um, and uh, out of that concentration, red fruit, no stopping. We'll come back to that. Out of that concentration is, um, most of that is focused in front of me. A uh, little bit behind, I do know a lot of London commuters and London riders that take off their wind mirrors because they don't use them they just get in the way and they do because they're a uh, uh, rear view mirror height for a uh, wing mirror height sorry for uh, most other vehicles so that's what I'm concentrating on what I'm not concentrating on is road signs now red routes like this are no stopping at any time for any vehicle brackets except buses uh, and even then they tend to try and have lay, lay ends that, um, that they pull in at, at, at if at all possible. Uh, now red routes throughout London are um, bus lanes are open to motorbikes and taxis and push bikes and buses weirdly enough because they're called bus lanes. Um, but they are not, um, uh, but they work. They're slow, but they work. And if you're sharing a bus lane, you need to be aware that for one, other people are in it. For two, buses will stop. That's what they do. Um, and you do need to merge back into lane traffic when they do so. Um, but it was deemed as uh, effective, safe, and fundamentally motorbikes motorcycles do not get in the way of the buses or slow down the buses um, but the way that the, the completely messed up way that London works the boroughs have their own rules so if you happen to be going through Barnet which we kind of are now but it's on a red route so it's slightly different again variances in uh, uh, within within boroughs, let alone uh, between. What's that mean? I got stuck in fifth then. Um, 
experience is uh, within boroughs, let alone between um, places are different. So, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I even filmed it. I might see if I can find the upload while I was chatting away. Uh, I took a different route in, a different route through Barnet. And I pooed along and I used the bus lanes as I normally do. Perfectly safe. I wasn't zooming, undercutting, undercutting, undertaking. That's the subject of another video in itself. Um, I was just pooping to work. I was in no particular rush. Um, over the space of 3.9 mile stretch of the same road, I picked up three PCNs at, oh, well, no, here you go. <coughs> Let's do a guess. Let's do some guesswork. So, uh, as I've said, you can uh, use bus lanes in some areas, in red zones, and in some boroughs where they have done the maths and gone, well, it reduces the flow of traffic. It increases the flow of traffic, doesn't it? Um, buses aren't going to get delayed by motorbikes. Why wouldn't you do it? Hence, most of central London are red routes. Um, for the misdemeanour, for the heinous crime, sorry, no, not the misdemeanour, for the heinous crime of um, riding a motorcycle in a bus lane, how much do you think the fine would be? 20 quid, 30 quid? No, don't be silly. 40 quid. 50 quid. 50 quid for a... Uh, that's starting to get, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be... Uh, there's a danger of uh, being sniffy about money here, but you know, um, ten pound, twenty pound. If you lose it, you'll know you've lost it, but it's not going to break you. In, in most cases, and I do appreciate everybody's financial and economic cases are different, but you know, a ten or twenty quid, you know, money that you can monetize in a note, you can. In most cases, you can you can lose without necessarily feeling the pinch. There's a fifty pound note. No, yeah, of course there is. Fifty pound note. Go on then. Yeah, you'd notice if you lost that. So fifty quid. Fifty quid sounds well, right? Fifty quid for a fine for being caught infringing in a local rule. I'll go for that. Would you go for a hundred and thirty pounds each time? What the fuck are you doing, big fella? I'm going to go around to you because if we have an argument, I'm losing. Uh, yeah, £130 each. So, for the mathematicians amongst you, I'm no Rachel Riley or Carol Vorderman, but £390 over 3.9 miles uh, within, I think, 12 minutes of each other, as in first to last. Um, now obviously if you pay quickly, <laughs> you get money off because basically they want to put people under pressure to just go, oh fuck it, I'll pay it, we'll make it go away. Um, I went online and complained and said, um, well I'll accept that, you know, I, I just gave the whole, I don't normally go this route. I was unaware that local boroughs make set different laws, which still strikes me as completely fucking stupid. Um, I went online and somebody asked uh, for a Freedom of Information Act as to how they came to that decision. It was answered, but in the most loose way that didn't even cover the answer. Um, so I wrote and just said, right, okay, I'll take one of the fines because I, there was a rule that I was unaware of. Ignorance is no excuse, etc, etc. But you're really taking the piss by doing three within 12 minutes within this time. Uh, I'll pay one fine. Um, I waited a week got a paper reply back, which was very retro, and very slow, that basically said, poke you, no? um, here's the reason we won't accept it, and it didn't give a reason, it gave lots of words, don't get me wrong, it didn't ignore me, but it makes absolutely no comeback to it, so what it did do is it reset the, uh, it reset the reduced um, fine, another two weeks and I just paid it so at 65 quid a shot it's 195 pounds now I I am not any sort of activist I am loosely aware that I think 
Motorcycle News are trying to push to get some commonality in the law. Um, firstly in London etc. I am going to look it up and I am going to put whatever meagre support I can put behind it. Um, having different rules in different boroughs of London is ridiculous because for a biker to survive in London they are not looking up and to their left at road signs. They are looking down at wheels, they are looking around at noise. They are concentrating their tiny little fucking minds out in order to try and stay alive on the roads. Uh, compounded by the fact you've got to spend half your time now looking down because the roads are in such shitty condition like that that they will have you off of your bike. Uh, you know, a slight wobble on a bike can drop you in the poo very, very quickly. Um, and it is just, without sounding very schoolyardy, it's just unfair. There's no markers between boundaries. For those unaccustomed to sort of London life, you don't know what borough you're in. There's no, you know, there isn't even a, or in most cases, because there's such a density of roads, there isn't even a, yeah, uh, you are now entering Barnet. Type, you know, there's no like you get road signs on counties, for example, which again are pretty fucking uh, invisible at the best of times. But um, there's none of that, so you don't actually know what what uh, what borough you're in the majority of the time. Um, wrong, sorry, you don't know. There's nothing to tell you what borough you're in uh, the majority of the times. So you may well know, you may well know the area, but there's nothing to tell you which. Um, you're in specifically. Uh, the only difference between the signs is whether or not it has a picture of a motorbike in it or not. Um, again I will try and dig out some pretty pictures to display but you know there's not a great deal of difference between the signs. Uh, you do have to really concentrate because otherwise you get things like this. This guy just cruising with his indicator on. Are you gonna turn or not? You're just gonna fucking cruise with your indicator on you fucking spanner um, yeah you're too busy concentrating frankly I'm too busy concentrating on shit like that that can hurt me than I am for a sign on the road saying me whether or not I should be there now I know that you know I know that it was wrong I know that I shouldn't have done it but 319 pounds over 12 minutes. Christ, I had... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of an example of something that costs £390 for 12 minutes, but I haven't met her yet. I mean, it's just... It is just astounding. Um, yeah. So, what's the solution? Now, I do know from chatting with uh, various other people that there are other areas that have different rules over bus lanes, etc. Um, I know there are a lot of people that say, well, you know, you feel really trapped in a bus lane on a bike. You do, but fundamentally you feel really trapped by the amount of fucking traffic that's kicking around. I just fell into neutral then, I hope, I hope you don't notice. <laughs> Um, yeah, are you telling me that this doesn't feel trapped? Uh, you know, big ass lorry and a really nice white van. Thanks mate. It just let me through there. Um, yeah, I just find it, just find it balmy. Now the bit that really annoys me is it's money generation. Um, no, I, I don't mind money generation, but you know, the London boroughs need money. They've got public services they need to run. I just would like it to be sold that way. Ditto with the Ulez and Ulez expansion. I fundamentally disagree with it. But I fundamentally disagree with it because of the way it's been packaged as if it's something green, something good for the environment, something that will be good for London. Um, it's not. It's just rampant money generation. Well, if they said TfL's crippled, we need to make money for it. We're going to have to make it more expensive to drive around London. 
you know, ouch, pain in the ass, but, okay, I just, I'm just flabbergasted, there we go, red route, no stopping, um, red route, no stopping, um, I'm trying to find a sign that I can show you, let's say, oh, there we go, at all times, buses, motorbikes, push bikes and taxis. Not coaches though, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, right, that'll do me. Um, I've paid my money, I've learned my lesson. Um, I'm always going to be looking for these red routes with the red line. Um, uh, from now on. shame with being in a bus lane is you have to share it with these big bastards. Um, I'm not going to have a dig at bus drivers, uh, certainly not London bus drivers, uh, that's a fucking hard job. <laughs> um, the driving let alone interacting with uh, arseholes all day, but hey that's, that's me done, cheers all, have a fabulous day.